Hi, hello. I am Kiran Kumar from Nature of Physics. Today's topic is Newton's second law. The rate of change of linear momentum of the body is directly proportional to the net external force applied on the body and this change takes place always in the direction of the applied force. For example, a football player kick football with a force F. Initially the ball is at rest, that's why initial momentum also zero and final velocity v final momentum is mv so according to the newton second law rate of change of momentum that is dp divided by dt is directly proportional to the external force f student then continuation i can write f also directly proportional to dp divided by dt okay and the proportionality constant is equal to k dp divided by dt student and here the momentum is there the change in momentum we can find from this delta p which is equal to change in momentum that is final momentum minus initial momentum so that the change in momentum we are getting there final momentum is mv and initial momentum is zero so that delta p which is equal to mv student that we can write as p okay student and here f is equal to k into dp by dt in which p is equal to mv student okay and f which is equal to k into d by dt of p value is mv replacing there and continuation where f which is equal to k into m dv divided by dt student here we can write clearly that is mass is remains constant student what is constant there mass is equal to remains constant okay student so that but dv by dt which is equal to a is the acceleration student now replacing the value in the above equation so that we will get f is equal to k into m into a student okay and continuation step there here if if f is equal to 1 newton force m is equal to 1 kg meter sorry 1 kg and acceleration is equal to 1 meter per second square then f is equal to m k m a formula using student replacing that 1 newton is equal to k into 1 kg into 1 meter per second square here uh, we are getting k is equal to 1 student this is equal to constant okay and continuation derivation here i can write clearly f which is equal to k into m a in which all the values are replacing we are getting k is equal to 1 student here proof is already i gave you so that f is equal to m a is the basic formula we are getting f is equal to m a student and continuation in this derivation sometimes mass is variable and velocity is remains constant student for this i am using this formula same newton second law only f which is equal to k into d by dt of m v student in which velocity is remains constant so that f which is equal to k into v dm divided by dt student where k is constant which is equal to 1 so that i can write there continuation step c f which is equal to 1 into v into dm by dt student so that f is equal to v into dm by dt student so dm by dt this give the mass ma change in mass with respect to time student change in mass 
with respect to time okay student and units and dimensions also i will write step by student so that continuation here we need to find the force is a vector quantity so force is a vector student okay and continuation next one is next one is force si units writing student so force si units si units newton student n representing n represent newton okay student and continuation next step is for cgs units cgs units are dyne student d represented that is dyne okay one newton which is equal to one newton which is equal 10 to the power of 5 dyne student okay and here we can replace the values also so basic formula using f dimension formula i am writing student dimension formula okay df is the dimensional formula written for the force that is mass is kg and uh, acceleration is meter per second square or the units based on this i am writing there so so dimensional formula that is mass is represented m length is l divided by t square so finally we can write m l t to the power of minus 2 students and last step that is f is equal to ma formula using student basic formula okay if mass is equal to 1 kg and acceleration is equal to 1 meter per second square then we will get f which is equal to 1 kg 1 meter per second square that we can write f is equal to 1 newton student okay this is clear information about the newton second law please do like and subscribe my channel